Hey everybody, how's it going? It's the Ham Radio Dude, W9FFF. Today's episode 4 of Ham Radio Dude, and we're going to be purchasing things off of Wish.com. This will be a two-part series. The first part, obviously, is purchasing the items, and the second part will be unboxing and reviewing the items that I purchased today. Now, if you're not familiar with Wish.com, it's an e-commerce website that allows you to purchase things directly from China. And in four to six weeks, if you're lucky, you'll get your products. And sometimes you don't get your products, and that's just the way it goes on Wish. So I'm going to go ahead and get started, but a couple of rules is I must purchase everything from Wish.com within 10 minutes. There is a 10-minute time limit, and I must purchase something every minute. So let's get started. Uh, get this timer going here, and the timer has now started, and we're going to be looking for products on Wish. The first thing I'm going to do, let's see, type in ham radio. Oh, and it's slow today. It is slow. That's going to make it a bit of a challenge. So here's a $20 Baofeng radio. That's not a bad deal. Here's $17 for a Baofeng radio. They say it's the UV5RA, and let's see if I can get the USB version. And... Uh, well, I didn't add that one. I didn't mean to not add that one. We'll try it again here. I have 28 seconds. So the USB UV5RA in black, $26. Let's go ahead and click buy and see if it ever arrived. All right, up next, let's go ahead and I'll probably need a programming cable for it. It doesn't look like it came with one. So we're going to type in programming cable and see what we could come up with. Programming cable. I guess you probably have to put in ham radio too. And we have now just less than a minute here to purchase something. So all right, here is a ham radio uh, programming cable that would probably be compatible with Baofeng for $1.85. Here's one for free, just pay shipping. What is this? An 8-in-1 USB programming cable for Baofeng's Motorola Kenwood PYT QYT radios. $8 if 5 left. Let's, uh, that would be pretty cool to review and see if it actually works. I'll be curious. So that's in the cart. And let's see here. We, we're doing good on time. That one only took about 30 seconds to find. So we'll say at 8.20. So at 7.20, I have to have another item in my cart. You know what I do need is a uh, is, uh, is scope. I don't know that I even typed that right, but I did get results. All right. Will this work? Uh, this is a 2.4 inch LCD display DSO150 fully welded assembled digital oscilloscope with a probe do-it-yourself kit. I'm curious. All right. Resolution on the screen is 320 by 240. I think that'll be fine. Uh, maximum real time sampling is okay. One channel, 200 kilohertz. Let's uh, give this a shot. Add it to the cart with just enough time. And uh, that means at 6 minutes and 20 seconds, we will have to have purchased another item here. And uh, let's see here antenna analyzer. They have antenna analyzers. Let's see if there's anything here that I would find it as a, or would consider a deal. $229 for this antenna. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to steer away from that one. Um, we have about 20 seconds left to make a decision on which one we're going to buy. Which doesn't give us a lot of time here, but that's kind of the, the point of this game, I suppose. I did see this one here for $28. Here's one for $30. It comes with a couple of connectors. Uh, yep, let's go for it. That's all we, we only have time for this one. Come on. Into the cart. Go ahead and buy it. We're going to have an antenna analyzer. Or, uh, looking pretty forward to that one. I guess we'll see how it is. And I swear I didn't type an F at the end here. But uh, let's see. So uh, I guess the next thing is, is we'll call it, uh, we'll call it five minutes. I'll start then. We're going to type in Yezu Radio. So five minutes is the next mark to have an item added to the cart. Is there anything Yezu Radio related in here? Got a bunch of these cheap. Oh, okay. Well, here's one for free. It's a diamond 
a diamond antenna. I guess we'll get this in, we'll review it. Maybe we can compare it to a real diamond antenna. So I went ahead and claimed it. That means at four minutes and 40 seconds, we will have to have purchased our next item. I'm going to keep rolling through this. Oh, what is this? Oh, about 500. <laughs> Some of the prices on wish.com and you don't even know if you're going to get a real radio or if you're going to get a radio at all. But I'll tell you what, if I get a thousand likes on this video, which is a pretty large number, if I get a thousand likes on this video, I will purchase a Yezu radio from wish.com and we can compare it to a real one to see if we're actually getting a legitimate product or if we're getting a Chinese knockoff. 1,000 likes is all we need, guys. Oh, man. Um, I don't remember what my timer, I think I need to be 440, I think it was. So let's see here. Uh, oh, wow, look at that, 450D for $1,003. What a great deal. Here's a, uh, here's a SWR meter. Um, I'm going to have to add it because I don't have much time. So I'm getting this antenna, uh, SWR and power meter. And that means at 3.40, I had to have another item added into my cart. Oh, I hope, I don't even know what I'm at. Look at this, an uh, FT65R for 203 bucks. Uh, I just bought one for, I think, 60, $68 or $69 uh, ham radio outlet. So, yep, they're doing a great job there with pricing. Um, I don't know what else to say. What is this? 70 watt linear amplifier for, I don't have an 817 anymore. Um, what is this? Wires X, $237. Yeah, no man, I'm good. I need to buy something though, quick. Uh, we might have to go with another diamond antenna. I don't want to, but there's just not much in this search. That is a crazy price for a radio. Oh, uh, yep, we're gonna have to buy a diamond antenna. Come on, where is it? Is it here, here, we're gonna buy this. Uh, this is a Nagoya antenna. Yeah, let's see how a, a Nagoya antenna will do. Add it to the cart. And uh, we were pretty close to the 3 minute and 40 mark there. The next item that we're going to have to purchase is going to be at 2 minutes and 30 seconds starting now. Let's see if we can't find anything else cool. So we had a frequency counter, I think. Frequency counter? Oh, I don't think we have a frequency counter. Cool. Frequency counter. Um. Okay. 44 bucks, not bad. What is this one? Uh, digital LCD EMF tester. Eh. I am kind of curious about this guy here. I'm sold. The reason I'm sold already is it's a Surecom SF401 plus portable frequency counter with CTCCSS and DSS decoders. And I've never seen a CTCCSS decoder before. So let's add this to the cart. Man, I don't know where I'm at right now with price. But, uh, let's see here. And I'll just bring my window down a little bit. The next uh, tech that we have to buy is going to be at 1 minute and 30 seconds. 1 minute and 30 seconds. I'm running out of ideas here, so uh, ham radio uh, NMO. Let's see if we can find an NMO antenna. <clears throat> nope. We just got a bunch of bow things again. I got to buy something from here. Uh, let's see. Oh, man, I have 30 seconds to find some power supply. No. Uh, we're just in antennas again. So, no, nah, I'm not finding too much on this search, which is a bummer. What is this? $18 for... Ah, uh, yeah, I'm staying away from that. I have like 20 seconds, though, to find an item to purchase. And if I don't, well, no, I'm going to. Uh, let's see here. This one's free. We're going to add this Baofeng cable, see if that actually is anything worth a while here. I still have to pay for shipping, which is generally the same cost as, uh, you know, what the established price is. Like, for example, $2. And the next tech we're going to buy is going to be, it has to be by 30 seconds. What is this right here? Six band DDS signal generator. Ooh, a signal generator. That's a great thing to search for. Signal generator. Oh, man, it is a slow search today, that's for sure. Signal generator. Oh, my gosh, look at a signal generator. Uh, I am pretty, pretty confident I want to purchase that. Uh, <laughs> I guess we'll see how things go. Look at this one for 108 bucks. I guess it would be worth it to see if it actually works. Is there anything a little bit cheaper, though? 
I don't have any sponsors, so this is all out of my pocket. Six dollars. What is this? Single, single signal generator. P pulse. Uh, okay, frequency duty cycle adjustable module. One hertz to one hundred and sixty kilohertz. I don't know what I'm getting here. Oh, I'm getting that. Uh, I don't think that's anything I want. I have to purchase something. I'm going to purchase this thing, whatever it is. And I'm going to go ahead and buy that. And that means at 30 seconds, we're going to have to find one more thing to buy. Um, let's see if we can find anything DMR related, maybe DMR radio. And oh man, I don't even know what my card is at for price right now, but uh, it'll be interesting to see what it's going to be because I'm going to purchase it. We have seven seconds left here. Uh, I am going to finish out buying whatever it is here. Regardless, oh, here's another $13 bow thing. Let's see. And my time is up. I feel like I already got one of these in the cart, but it, I got the whatever it was, UV5RA or whatever it was. So let's see if this is any different here. Um, UV5R, $29. Eh. I guess we're going to get an 888. I guess that's cool, though. I could probably use one of those. We'll see how it is as far as quality goes. And maybe use it for an all-star project in the future. So with that, that was a 10-minute uh, rush to purchase as much stuff as I can tech-related on Wish.com. I am going to pause this video real quick so I could get to the checkout screen without you seeing all my personal information. All right, so I am in my cart now. And... Uh, I would say we didn't do too bad. We had a $224 worth of items in the cart, but shipping was $101, plus they're charging me tax. So my total comes out to $345 for this purchase, guys, but I'm going to do it. Uh, so let's see. The first thing I picked up was a police scanner Baofeng radio. Um, I think this was the, yeah, this was the BF888S. I uh, will see how it goes. $9 shipping too. Uh, the signal generator was $21. I'm kind of curious to see how that goes and we'll unbox it and check it out. Uh, I did purchase this Baofeng radio, which was free plus $4 shipping. And that was because I think I had like a couple of seconds left and I couldn't find an item that, uh, that was going to be something I would want to use. We have this frequency counter CTCCSS decoder. It's kind of funny. Uh, a Nagoya NA761 antenna. I'm actually kind of curious to see Wow, the shipping on that is nine bucks. So it becomes a $24 antenna, which I think you could buy a real one for that price. And I'm very curious to see if this will even perform like a an actual Nagoya antenna. I have my doubts. It is an SMA mail, which I didn't see when I went through real quick and started adding items to the cart, but that shouldn't be a problem. We bought this power meter, this SWR power meter for Kenwood, Yezu, ICOM, TYT mobile radios. I'd be curious to compare it to a normal power meter and see how it does. I got a free diamond antenna. Uh, that'll be a good one to see if it actually compares to the real diamond antenna. Because I have my suspicions that with the $2 shipping and it's a free item, that that antenna probably doesn't work too well. But, but we'll see. And how are we going to see? Well, we have this antenna analyzer. Purchased for $30, $12 shipping. 2.4 inch LCD display. Fully welded, uh, welded, <laughs> assembled digital oscilloscope with probe do-it-yourself kit. Uh, I'm actually curious to see uh, what that does and, and how it performs. Uh, I really am excited about the 8-in-1 programming cable. Basically, I am going to then have a bunch of different programming cables uh, acceptable via one cable. And that's kind of a nice little concept. I have my doubts that it's going to work fully. And I probably would be very leery to program it with very nice radios but i could uh try to program it with this uv5ra that i purchased which i think let's see let's take a look at this one real quick let's see what the specs are oh it's a vhf uhf one with a uh, four uh watts of power output or one watt depending on what uh setting you're on so it looks like a standard baofeng radio i guess we'll see how that all goes and with it guys my total is $345. And I'm going to go ahead and purchase this, but I'm going to stop the video so you guys don't see all my personal information. I'll be right back. And that's it, guys. 
<laughs> I purchased all the items here. $345.23 worth of Wish.com items for ham radio related stuff. Order is on the way, so check back in four to six weeks to see if everything actually arrives and an unboxing slash review of everything. Again, if you did like this video, please hit the like, comment, subscribe buttons. And if we get to a thousand likes on this video before these items arrive, I'm going to go ahead and purchase one of those Yezu radios from Wish.com. Take care. Thanks very much for checking out this channel in 73.